Welcome back to Core Cutting today, where we break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of core cutting and give you my opinion on them. Stories like local television station owners, local ABC, NBC, Fox, and CBS stations, for example, are very desperate um, to make streaming services like YouTube TV, Hulu Plus Live TV, and others be regulated like cable TV companies. We'll tell you why, what's driving this, and what you need to be aware of with it, but they say this is one of their main goals for 2024. Paramount lost a lot of money on streaming, but they have a plan to become profitable and they gave us a roadmap for that. We'll tell you a little bit more. And the Hallmark Channel is renaming some of its smaller channels and giving them a slightly different focus. We'll tell you these stories and a whole lot more here in a minute. If you want to learn more about them, I'll put a link to each story in the first pinned comment. You can find them on corecarsnews.com there. Um, if you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. We'll really appreciate it. All right, let's dive into this. Starting off with local ABC, NBC, Fox, and CBS stations are pushing the FCC to reclassify YouTube TV, Hulu, Fubo, and others as cable TV companies. Now, a few things here. This is not ABC, this is not Disney. These are the independent owned stations, which is kind of a weird term now because most of them are owned by big companies like Sinclair, Nexstar, and other uh, large companies, but they're pushing the FCC to reclassify these services as cable TV companies. A few things this will do, force the um, services like Hulu and YouTube TV to uh, pay more money to the FCC, but it more importantly changes how negotiations work. Currently, YouTube or Fubo or others can go to Paramount, strike a deal to represent all the CBS stations across the country, and then the local TV stations are kind of trapped into it. If this changes, local TV station owners will be the ones that they have to negotiate with. No longer is it about, hey, I negotiated with Paramount, you have to give me your feed. Now Hulu or YouTube TV will need to go to Sinclair and others. Now there are a few things here. DirecTV, for example, has long bundled their negotiations for satellite with their streaming. That's why you'll see individual blackouts, individual TV stations, because they're doing a big bundle deal. They do it a little different than Hulu, Fubo, and YouTube TV. Um, and I think that's a big part of it. This is really about local TV stations owners being able to strike their own deals. It's been long rumored that they were not very happy with some of the deals. For example, when Fubo last year struck its deal with Paramount, some station owners rebelled and refused to supply a feed for some time, and Paramount just replaced them with a national feed, removing all local programs. I think that freaked them out a little bit with this, because they were unhappy with how much money they are going to get from Fubo. And I think that's a big part of what's happening here, is they're pushing to get more money. No matter what they talk about, about this being to save local news. I'm sure they are very worried about local feeds being replaced by national feeds, um, and I, that's part of it, but a lot of this really comes down to money. They want more money. We'll see how it plays out, but keep a close eye on this. The National Association of Broadcasters, who is the big consumer group representing all of them, has come out with their list of objectives for this year, and this was listed as one of their main objectives, to reclassify streaming as cable television. And they, you know, they code it in all kinds of words about protecting local news and local viewers. Don't be fooled, this is a lot about money. Cannot ignore the money aspect of this. Well, there are other things to it, but money is a big part. Speaking of money, Paramount lost $490 million in the fourth quarter of 2023. This comes as Paramount Plus did add 4.1 million subscribers, now up to 67.5 million subscribers, a pretty hefty subscriber base, but still far behind things like Disney Plus, Max, and other large subscription streaming services. But they do say, according to the Paramount, that they believe in 2025 they will be profitable. Exactly how they're going to do that will be um, unknown, but 490 million sounds like a lot, but that's down from 575 million during the same period of 2022. This is pretty good, especially when you consider that the strike last year definitely had a negative impact across the board, just not on television stations, but on streaming services. It definitely hurt them there too. There's maybe some of the big shows that would have hit in the fourth quarter are now being pushed into 2024 or even later now. But overall, traditional television revenue saw a drop of 12% to $5.16 billion in the fourth quarter. Still a lot. Affiliate and subscription revenue, though, just dropped 1% to $2.2 billion. So the subscription fees and more are still not doing too bad there at Paramount. Keep a close eye on this. They need to turn a profit. 
We've heard for a while that Paramount was up for sale. We'll see if it um, really happens. If anybody wants to buy them, one of the things they're gonna be looking at is profitability. All right, if you're a fan of Hallmark, a few other channels have new names or will have new names very soon. Hallmark Drama, along with the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, are getting a new name. Hallmark Drama, yesterday from when I'm recording this, two days ago from when I post it, um, rebranded uh, to the Hallmark Family Channel and it's gonna have a bigger focus at Corner Hallmark Media on faith, love, and community as a big part of the Hallmark Family Channel. The Hallmark Movies Channel and Mysteries is getting rebranded to just Hallmark Mysteries and allowing it to do more series and more of a focus just on mystery related product um, shows. Now that rebranding will happen March 6th for the Hallmark Mysteries channel. This time those are the only ones I know about. Slight refocus, slight name tweak here. I'm sure they did some um, surveys and looked at their numbers and found for like the movies and mysteries, the mystery content is what was doing the best. They want to lean into it. And for the Hallmark, um, uh, what was it, Hallmark uh, drama, they were kind of looking at it and saying there's a market here for family, which great American family has been doing very well with, and maybe they want to lean into that to try to maybe recoup some people who have left Hallmark Channel for great American family. There's a big war there. For most of us, we probably don't even notice, but there is a huge war for this market in American television because it's very profitable, and there's two, Hallmark Channel and Great American Family. Great American Family has been seeing a lot of growth recently. Keep Keep an eye on them. You may not know that name. But I tell you, people who like this kind of content sure do. All right, let's keep moving along. A lot to cover here. Um, Amazon's announced what's new in March 2024 for Amazon Freebie. A lot of content here on demand. Now, Amazon Freebie has a history of not announcing new channels until they come out. So don't be surprised not to see a bunch of new channels on this and just see a bunch of on-demand content. You can find a full link of everything new on Amazon Freebie in the show notes down below. Warner Brothers Discovery is continuing to cut costs and cut services. We learned earlier that they're shutting down um, Motor Trend Streaming Service, and now they've announced a desire to shut down its news service in New Zealand. New Zealand has two news agencies that broadcast free and over their television. One is a state-owned channel with state-owned news media, though it's technically independent. Then there was the Warner Brothers Discovery one that's for about 30 years, I believe, been brought, 35 years, excuse me, it was 35 years broadcasting down there. Warner Brothers Discovery has made it public that they intend to shut down. There's some regulatory steps they have to do in order to shut down a new service down there. But check that out, keep a close eye on it. Warner Brothers Discovery is not afraid to cut anything or anyone right now that they deem as not profitable. So keep a very close eye on that. All right, a few deals, a few new news is about um, home internet service, starting off with Verizon customers. There is a new bundled streaming bundle to help you save money. You can get AMC Plus, this AMC streaming service with ad-free, and Netflix Premium in a bundle that's going to uh, be cheaper. You get them both for only $25.99. That is um, about $5.99 in savings of both. Now, a few things here. If you were not already going to get both of those services, I would not run out and get this. Maybe for a month or two to try it out. But if you're an AMC Plus customer and a Netflix customer, paying it through Verizon in this bundle will save you almost $6 a month. That can really add up over the course of the year. Um, with this, it's through the My Plan, and you have to sign up. This offer is good until March 30th. It's a limited time offer. So definitely take that in consideration. You can cancel any time. Make sure you read the terms and conditions to know what you're signing up for with this. But link in the show notes down below if you want to find that. Also, if you are a T-Mobile um, customer in Puerto Rico, good news. It's 5G home internet. It's expanding to Puerto Rico. This is great. Puerto Rico has often suffered from poor options when it comes to things like home internet. And now there'll be one more. A similar deal to the United States, 50 bucks a month if you... Depending on what plan you're on, you can get it down to 40. Very good deal here. If you live in Puerto Rico, check it out. If you've been thinking about 5G home internet from Verizon, now may be a really good time because they have a special going right now. Get this. If you sign up for its 5G home internet, it's um, higher end one. It's, uh, what is it, $45 a, a month? Yeah, $45 a month plan for its 5G home plus service. You can get a free Nintendo Switch and, and, a $200 Target gift card, or a Samsung Chromebook Go, so you can get a Chromebook with this, or a $200 
um, Target gift card. Now the Chromebook is technically valued a little bit more, but you have to ask yourself, would you use a Chromebook? I love my Chromebook. By the way, crazy good battery life, excellent laptop to send from the TV if you're doing a bunch of odd things on a laptop that you do through a browser. It's a really good laptop. So check that out, but, excuse me, uh, Verizon 5G Home Internet is really pushing some specials. That's the current one they're doing now. Limited time offer. Um, this could end at any time, and then there'll probably be a different special later, but who knows if it's as good. All right, let's dive into the question of the day. Every day I try to answer one or two questions here, and then down below I'll answer some questions in the comments. Um, so make sure to leave a comment. Start off with something like a question for Luke if you want me to answer it. And I'll do my best to get as many as I can. I understand that I miss a lot. There's a lot of comments. I think I saw we had like 30 some thousand comments last week or something or some time period. There's a lot of comments. But start off with a question for Luke. I'll do my best to answer all that I can. Today's question um, is, will we be able to watch shows like Hell's Kitchen or American Idol on the new sports bundle through Max when it comes out? So last week we learned that the new joint venture of Disney, Fox, and Warner Bros. Discovery's streaming service would be available as an add-on to Max. And with this, through Max, you'd be able to get things like ESPN, FS1, local ABC, Fox programming, TNT, and other sports networks, 16 or so in total, streaming through your Max um, app as an add-on to your Max subscription. Details are very thin here, and that's where we're running in. For example, Max right now has their BR Sports add-on, which gives you TNT and TBS Sports, but only the sports. You don't get a 24-7 feed of the channel. Will we be seeing something similar here with local um, ABC and Fox stations? They say that those are included, but is it a 24-7 feed? If it is, then sure, yeah, we will be able to watch all the local programming. They've already said they've struck deals with local stations to do this. We'll see how it plays out. But... There's a lot we don't know about the service. Pricing. I know it's like August is the target, but the exact release date, terms and conditions, what the new app will look like. This is supposed to be available as an add-on to many services, but also as a standalone app on its own. We're going to wait for more details before I can answer that. But you will be able to definitely watch the sporting events on ABC and Fox from our understanding. The other content, hopefully soon they make an announcement so we know more. When we do know more, we'll have full coverage here and over at CourtCuttersNews.com. Well, that's it for today. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll be back again real soon with another video.